All right, one elementary school in Fort Bend County is sponsoring a blood drive to help one of their own. We told you about nine year old Kamora Dankins, who was diagnosed with leukemia last December. Now her school is helping her and her family out. Channel 2's Eric Braid is live at Rosa Parks Elementary in Fresno, where this blood drive has been going on all afternoon. Hi, Eric. Hey, this story is about tenacity, it's about spirit, and it's about what can be accomplished when a community comes together. Kimora Denkins is a true warrior. Diagnosed with leukemia in December, she's battled this blood cancer into remission, but faces continued treatment through 2018. That includes frequent stays in the hospital for her chemotherapy and blood transfusions. Her school has joined the fight by sponsoring a blood drive. It means a lot uh, to be able to help one of my students. Uh, I've known Kamora for just since the beginning of this school year, and she's a sweet little girl. The principal leading the charge, and this mother of three of Kamora's schoolmates quick to enlist. I actually took off of work to make sure that I would be here. I just try to think about if it was my child, what would I want, you know, expect other parents to do. Kimora and her family came out to say thank you to the school and the donors for their support. Kimora was a little weak from her last round of chemotherapy just days ago, so she was a little shy. But her mom, grateful for the effort that reaches beyond Kimora. It's not only benefiting Kimora, it's benefiting many patients at Texas Children's Hospital who really benefit from having these transfusions. And uh, this is just a great cause, a great event that we're doing. Um, and it's not just Texas Children's Hospital that benefits. It's 170 hospitals in 26 counties across the Texas Gulf Coast. They need 1,000 donations per day to stay in operation. And joining me right now, Tammy Riley from the Gulf Coast Regional Blood Center. How many lives have we saved today? So far, we've had 17 donors, and we actually just had two walk in the door. So that's a, an awesome thing that we're doing because we potentially saved up to 60 lives today. So we're... But we need more donations, don't we? Definitely. Right. We encourage people to donate on a regular basis. So right. come out and give blood. All right. Very good. We are live here in Fresno. Eric Wright, KPRC, Channel 2 News.